Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Reduce your ping time and get faster speeds when you game at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Welcome, everybody, to the Funhouse podcast episode number. Who even knows at this point? Actually, if we restarted it over when we changed the name of it, it's only like 20. So it's not too bad. Uh, I'm James Willems, and today... I've got three amazing guests. We're going to be chatting about the summertime fun. We're going to be having playing games inside, not going outside and playing sports and doing anything in the sunshine. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Omar. Hello. Omar, welcome to the show. Happy to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We also have have Patrick. Yep. Hi. I think I make this joke every uh, time I'm on something, but I want to just thank you for this opportunity. This is huge (laughs) for me. Yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> Listen, Patrick, I say this every single time you're on the podcast. This is your one shot. Really? This is your I'm, one shot to make. I'm going to do so good this time. You're going to be so proud. I yeah. promise. <laughs> and last and of course, not least, Danny Pena, Gamertag Radio. Danny, how you doing? I'm good. Once again, I'm back. This is like what my third or fourth time now here. I think so, that, I think this is your yeah. third at least. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, but thanks. Can't can't wait can't wait to talk about games, man. You know, I always yeah, have a yeah. great time times, talking about it here. So yeah. yeah. How many times do you have to be on the show before you can't get this stink off you anymore? <laughs> yeah. <I don't>, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone knows for certain yet because like uh uranium two thirty five, the half life has yet to expire. I don't know. That, that <laughs> um yeah, so yeah, we're gonna talk about games uh this week. Uh shocking. Um but uh, it's coming, creeping up on the summer and kind of like movie blockbusters, you see this influx of game releases coming, uh, coming over the next couple months. There's a lot of high profile titles and I just kind of wanted to bring all these things to the table and we can chat about the games we're excited about. I, I mentioned to you guys before we started to like, think of a couple ones that you're specifically excited for, but I think we're all going to be excited. I, I saw most of your list and I don't think there's going to be something that we're not excited for and then if anything else comes up we can chat about that but yeah i just want to talk about summertime summertime funds summer how, summer summer let's do it yeah. let's do it yeah let's do it this, it's funny because i am kind of like last i'm a very outside summer person i love going to the beach and playing volleyball and and doing all kinds mm-hmm. of fun stuff and didn't get to do like any of it last year so it it is I am conflicted a little bit about my excitement for <laughs> summer games while also thinking like, gosh, if I if it, if September rolls around and I, I have completed all of these games, I'll be really sad. Um, <laughs> but still, um, does anyone want to toss something out first? I just want to mm-hmm. like, I can't believe it's almost summertime again already. I, know, <laughs> I feel like I know. we had a week of wintertime here in California. Mm-hmm. We're yes. all L.A. people here. Like we had mm-hmm. like a week of of winter, no spring, and it's already ninety five degrees outside, and yeah. it's fucking summer. Yeah, yeah. that's how yeah. it goes. That's yeah. the LA life. Don't I don't get it. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be my first summer here in LA. I usually will come oh, yeah. only for E three, and then I'll go back to Miami or New York. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it gets hot as shit out there too. So you're not, oh, you're not yeah. good. Here. It's not gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Miami is way humid. worse <laughs> when it comes to yeah, that. Yeah, it's not humid. It's great. <laughs> It's yeah, not humid. Yeah. Yeah, it's a you don't dry about the bugs. It's a dry heat. It does mean, <laughs> though, that it means that if you're going to do one of those summer summer days where it's like, let's go out, spend all day at the beach playing games. We'll bring food and we won't even go back to our homes until midnight. There's a certain point, And this happens probably uniquely to L.A. and other desert towns where mm-hmm. you're having the greatest time. The whole day is amazing. And then by about like 830 you realize that the clothes you had been wearing up until this point don't apply anymore because the temperature <laughs> drops like oh, by like yeah. 30 degrees yeah. and now you're freezing your ass off. You need like yes. L.A. is the only place where you need two sets of clothes for the <laughs> day. Beach clothing. It's still going to get cold yeah. at night. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, best, the best part about going to the beach here, though, mm-hmm. is like you go, you post up and within 30 minutes, a ceviche lady walks by. Uh, the fruit lady walks by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the paletas. And then, like, you get all the that. paleta guy walks by. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the fucking best. And then even like shit you forgot, like it's like a boogie board guy is out there too. If you need a boogie board, <laughs> yeah. it's the fucking yeah, you best. Get an umbrella, a boogie board. Yeah, mm-hmm. a frozen, a frozen uh, coconut popsicle thing. Yeah. You don't need yeah, to bring yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, you can just show up like in a suit and you'll be set within thirty minutes. 
Danny, are you? Those guys are, were always the best because we were. Wait, uh, what happened? Go ahead. What you were saying? I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was say... asking. I was asking Danny if he was a beach guy because I, I mean, I oh, I, I yeah. Know... Okay. I'm more. I, I love the beach. Like I used to. Mm-hmm. I will go a lot. Uh, back in the days, I would go a lot uh, over there, at South Beach in Miami. Mm-hmm. And uh, but then once my family got a pool, I, I just been you know hanging out there all the time. You know, so that's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. But that's I want. Awesome. I really want to check out a beach here in LA. Mm-hmm. Definitely want to do that. Check it out. But you guys got to re- tell me which one I should go because there's people saying don't go to this one, don't go to that one. So there's I need to go to the variety. right one. There's a ver- I mean, there's a variety. It depends on kind of what you want from your experience. We, I know we're going to talk about games. I promise. But for now, let's just <laughs> talk about LA Beach Chat. Because, um, like, of course, there's Santa Monica, which is a big. <clears throat> it's like, but it's like it's like a beach city Agreed. vibe thing, right? And it's where yeah. everyone goes. And maybe you'll see some hot people doing tandem yoga or like swinging on <laughs> on uh, rings and stuff. I think it's fun. I yeah. think it's a fun place to walk around but i don't think that i would ever think like oh let's grab a towel and lie down uh, in santa monica and catch some rays and swim in the pure runoff water like um (laughs) no go north yeah the further north north, you go the nicer it gets on the uh, on the pch yeah what are you talking about there there are lots of places what's it called is that it that's will rogers okay yeah i Mm-hmm. I used to work as a lifeguard at the beach for 16 years, Danny. I have a pretty mm. extensive L.A. County beaches knowledge. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, So Venice Beach is where you go to see people. That's a people watching beach. You go to Venice. It's not really go on the water beach. It's kind mm-hmm. of the beach itself is, is secondary to people watching. Mm-hmm. Okay. North of Santa Monica Pier, pretty good hangout in the beach. It gets, it gets crowded and there's some people watching there. If you want to be alone, if you want like space to chill, you need to go to Wool Rogers, like Patrick was saying, or go up to Malibu. Or south of Marina del Rey is mm-hmm. the best chill out night. The water is warmer there because you're like deep inside the bay. Uh, it's not super dirty because the current runs north. So all the shit that comes out of the marina usually heads upward and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, south of the marina is a great spot. The further south you go, though, you start to run into shitty people. So yeah. be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't go too far Hun- south. Don't go to Huntington. Huntington. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, no, okay. I mean, like even Manhattan Beach. I would say Manhattan Beach is probably like the the corn, like the edge. You don't want to go. You don't want to cross over into Manhattan. That's mm-hmm. where all the shitty people start. Okay, yeah. but like, okay. yeah, if you want to just chill out and have a good time in the water, Will Rogers is the best beach for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now I know. We'll now go I to know. the beach. We'll we'll do the beach sometime this summer. We'll do the beach summer yeah. beach day. It'll be fun. I mean, we're talking uh, about summer, so summer, so this this is yeah, perfect, right? <laughs> Games relevant. and and the beach. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna bring your switch. That's, yeah, no, I, bring your no, 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 uh, don't your don't X Cloud, whatever. Or S Cloud, yeah, bring yeah, your, yeah, that's true. Yeah, God. bring your bring your iPad with your controller. Mm-hmm. Sit I'll, under your towel at I'll the beach this. the entire time, so you can see. Oh, look, yeah. yours is already loaded up. I'm ready, ready. I get to a, go that's to the beach awesome. Look at that. It looks like a PSP. <laughs> um all right so okay wishes. so we all now when we try to go to those beaches we're gonna need something that we're gonna want to play or when we come when the temperature drops or we're completely horribly sunburnt because we didn't put on sunscreen and by the way didn't get a base last year at all so we're gonna burn like crazy this year mm-hmm. um what are you guys playing what are you excited for this summer what games are coming down the pipeline all right, so you want us to talk about what games we're playing right now, or we want to play in the future? Let's yeah? start. Let's start with what games we're playing right now, and then we'll yeah. and then we'll keep creeping on down for the yeah, summer. Yeah. Well, for me lately, I've been playing a lot of MLB The Show Twenty One on mm-hmm. Xbox. Uh, shout out to PlayStation for sending me an Xbox code, which is so strange <laughs> to say <laughs> that. Weird. That yeah, is yeah. so okay. strange. But uh, yeah, they sent me um, they sent me the PlayStation version and also Xbox Series X and and Xbox mm-hmm. One. Uh, for us to review and i've been playing it a lot man I, i've been uh you know i created my own character danny pena from dominican republic number 77 mm-hmm. uh i've been doing that oh, as a pitcher the too. Marlins? That's, marlins yeah because you know, i love i love miami teams <laughs> it is so it is uh, funny it is yeah. funny because like i also create characters but sometimes i don't bother creating myself in situations like that like like batting you know for the pittsburgh pirates it's james yeah, yeah. willems it's like what's i don't know he's got like a 0.003 batting average or like he's like that's he doesn't but danny pena that's that's a that's a home run hitter right it, there it, you know? it, it sounds like a baseball player man so you know yeah so, 
But uh, yeah, I've been uh, playing that a lot, and I've been trying out Home Run Derby online with other with other uh, players. We com- compete mm-hmm. to see who hits the gets the most home runs in one mm-hmm. in one round. But um, yeah, it's cool because it's crossplay, so you see the the PlayStation players and you see the icon of like the Xbox players. It's really mm-hmm. cool. And I just created a, a league now for for my community, Gamer Tag Radio. And mm-hmm. we're gonna do, just play crossplay style against that's each awesome. other, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And it, and it's it's cool to see that, man. You know, because uh, it's been years that it's only been available on X, uh, not on Xbox, on PlayStation, baseball. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's good to see that it's going to other platforms. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it, man. Really cool. That that's awesome. It it's yeah. been forever since I've played like a sports game online. Do you when you like play someone else? Do people actually are there? Is there a game mode that you play where you know it's like oh we're just gonna do a five inning game or do or do you find that when you play online people actually play the whole length of a baseball game? So I, I had three games right commercial mm-hmm. breaks one one game <laughs> I was playing with my brother we did five innings right but it was still a tie and we ended up ninth inning. So mm-hmm. I, technically that's like nine innings, you know? So yeah, yeah. at the end I hit a home run. I had man in base and I won the whole game. So that was cool. Uh, <laughs> the other ones I got destroyed, but we played all the way, all the way to like ninth, all the way to nine wow. innings. And this was with a random person. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and it was, yeah, it was fine. No, so that's far awesome. I haven't had a bad experience of people like quitting. Cause that was, that's the problem I had with sports games. Mm-hmm. You play online and and once people are like oh, yeah, losing, yeah. they just leave, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't had that yet. So yeah, yeah. Damn, I miss I miss like baseball. the Pistons. Uh, I miss you miss a, baseball food. Stadium, yeah, getting oof. Summertime, <laughs> so baby, good. you could do it. Yeah. Summertime, summertime, hot summer dog day, hot yeah. dog time. You know what? The uh, best, the best baseball game that I ever witnessed, like live, was mm-hmm. it was the World Baseball Classic. In Miami, Florida, it was the USA versus Dominican Republic. It was a sold out. The stadium was all sold out. Mm-hmm. And, man, it felt like I was in the World Cup. Everyone was jumping and yeah. <laughs> getting hyped. Yeah, it was crazy. And it was a close game all the way to, like, the, the end of the game, the ninth inning. It was mm-hmm. really good. Really, really cool. That's awesome. So, yeah. I think uh, those uh, those World Baseball Classics end up being more exciting than, like, the World Series a lot of times, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, people are mm-hmm. people are fucking into it there, you know, where mm-hmm. yeah. you have, like, one dominant team or whatever in, the in like, the American version of the World Series. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, the World Classic is is fun. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a crazy time. Yeah, if you have an opportunity to go to attend, man, pff, go. It's it's really cool. It's really, mm-hmm. really cool. And you, see, you meet people from all around the world, too, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the cool thing when you have, like, that's always the fun part about, you know, you think about European leagues and maybe not the Super League, but uh, other European football leagues. And, uh, what is and the Super League? What, what is, is yeah, what is the Super? Because I, I, I saw that all over Twitter I, today and I have no yeah, idea what it is. I don't know. I don't know uh, football, uh, how they set up their divisions or whatever, but from what I've gleaned, it's essentially. A lot of um, some of like the biggest teams, like the most popular teams, are trying to like form their own league, so they get oh. more matches that are just them playing each other. But mm-hmm. it's it's not necessarily how good they are; like it's popularity that is like a determining factor. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> well, that, and it's like okay. it's like, but it's, it's like I guess it's the again. This is just me vibing off things that I've kind of like when I click on the hashtag and read people's reactions to it are like people going like this is them trying to be like hip and young and like make football cool um but mm-hmm. like it completely works against what the sport is supposed to be and what the sport is supposed to represent and how you would determine like a proper champion and stuff you can correct yeah, me if, if i've I'm learned wrong, anything but. from watching ted lasso lasso uh-huh. is they have to win in order to be in the good league so if they mm-hmm. can just choose to not participate in that and pick their own league that's kind of shitty i guess yeah uh well, first cody and foremost, cody rtd about- real quick posted something he said uh i guess one of the main movers behind the european super league is real madrid president florentino perez claiming it will save football at a time when young people are no longer interested because of poor quality <laughs> games um, but then there's also a ton of money invested into it from like JP Morgan and stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, and it, of course. There's big clubs that pay huge salaries and stuff. Um, Cody also added, followed up, it's stupid, TBH. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Patrick, what were you saying? 
Well, I was just going to say, first and foremost, it's about faking injuries on the field. But <laughs> yeah, flopping is probably <laughs> after good. that. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. I love those compilations. Flop the best, <laughs> especially the ones where the dude will pick up the guy who's flopping on the ground and stand him up, and he just walks away like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso's like, "What are you doing out there? What was that all? What was all that out about? Well, I was just flopping, gotta, coach. We don't flop here. Got to believe. Got to believe." <laughs> um, Patrick, what are you playing currently? Yeah, uh, I got. I've been playing a bunch of Jurassic World Evolution. I, okay, I don't know. It, <laughs> is that a was, park management game? Yes. It okay. Is. Cool. Cool. Uh, it was on Epic for free. I don't remember when, but mm-hmm. I try to make a point of like all the stuff I subscribe to. Mm-hmm. If it has free stuff, I claim it, whether or not I want it. Oh yeah, for sure. Because yeah, you have to. Right. Otherwise, you're not getting your. I mean, Epic is whatever. That's not, I'm not paying anything for that. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's there. It's being given to me. And all you have to do is press a button to get it. So I just claim everything. Mm-hmm. And then I used to, when I was a kid, I had a similar, like, it was Jurassic Park. And it was like a park management game. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was called. But I was, like, super into it for a little while. And I was like, oh, I'll try that. And then I got, like, mm-hmm. very into this one. Um, okay. I may have burnt myself out on it. Uh-oh. Actually. I, so, pl- I played a little too much. Is it? Is it? It's because it's the kind of thing where you're like trying to increase attendance and everything like that, right? Yeah. Um, resource but thing, management. I say the research, yeah. but the thing is, none of the Jurassic Park movies are about that. <gasps> yeah. So the stuff that the Jurassic Park movies Recording. are about is actually kind of the least fun part of the game because uh-huh. you'll be doing all this other stuff like building the park, breeding these dinosaurs, doing all this cool stuff. And then a dinosaur breaks out, and it's just like, ah. But that's what you want. That's it's, the, it's, no, it's that's not, what, though. That was always strange about the game, though, is because resource management when game. things actually get interesting is when you least want to play the game. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you, uh, you failed the game in some yeah. way, but it's like, no, that's when the action starts. Uh, yeah, um, but okay. it, I don't know. It's like The Sims was out, or not The Sims. Uh, Sim City was always cool when, like, the alien would show up mm-hmm. or the tornado. Yeah. This, I'm kind of just like, <laughs> not into it's it just, i gotta no. go click it's on just the an helicopter inconvenience. You're just which is like your... you click on the map and it's just so cluttered mm-hmm. the map itself is mm-hmm. so you have to find your helicopter and then it's a different <laughs> right. helicopter okay, it sounds like you love the game patrick <laughs> you're right omar what are it. you playing no <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> i mean i'm not in a dissimilar boat of patrick uh i've been playing a shitload of monster hunter like mm-hmm. I, I okay. Jacob got me real into World Monster Hunter World on PC, yeah. so uh, you know played it on PlayStation when it came out. But when it came out on PC, we really dove in hard, and I played the shit out of that game. And then this, uh, the one on Switch, is surprisingly like to me, it's surprising that it's better than World because mm-hmm. World wow. had like my crazy computer to make it look good and mm-hmm. run and all that stuff. But like the one on Switch is 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 better and like the the approachability of that game is way better now than it was before Mm -hmm. and i'm only saying that coming from world where world was touted as being the most approachable monster hunter game that's ever existed i feel like this one is more um it it baffles me that those games have existed for as long as they have and have had so many iterations where people complain about like you can't get you can't play this you can't play Mm -hmm. it's it's impossible to play there's too many things going on or whatever but They've been around forever and the most popular games ever. Didn't they mm-hmm. like, wasn't that the game in like Japan too, where they had to like change the release date. So the entire workforce in Japan didn't go take days off oh. in order to play monster hunter games. Whoa, maybe. I think that was a story way back when, when they were coming out on like three DS and stuff, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I've been playing a shitload of that on switch. I really dig it. Uh, hopefully we get to all play again. It was fun that, you know, the stream that we had James mm-hmm. like with Larry and stuff. How, it was fun to but play. But now how far, people. How far, I haven't played it since then. How far behind am I from from oh, the rest you're, of you? You're like a you're like, like a year of play time behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're so. like a year behind now. So. Yeah, <laughs> but that's, that's it's all happens. it's all about playing catch up. I always feel bad because Jacob plays with everybody, right? Like he plays all that stuff with us, but he's yeah. never playing new stuff when he's playing with anyone else. You know, I like he's feel, always just repeating that's everything Jacob. he's done already. But yeah, I would feel worse <laughs> if it was anyone other than Jacob. Because yeah. Jacob, I don't, Danny, I don't know if you've met Jacob, but he lives in a time mm-hmm. sphere. He mm-hmm. somehow manages to balance having a full time job, uh, a, 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 a healthy relationship uh, with his partner. And and so, like, I don't know how 
she deals with the fact that again and again unless he time jumps because he will come yeah, back yeah. the game will release <laughs> it midnight he'll release it midnight and then we'll find out the next morning that he's logged like 36 hours and we're like how's that possible wow like, yeah. <laughs> like, he, can, he, he just goes yeah. and then so he'll be like oh i'm doing monster hunter monster hunter rise and i got i've got 50 hours and i've unlocked all this stuff or whatever but he's also playing destiny and he's also yeah. playing other games and he's also what? streaming i don't know how he does it but he's yeah playing, he's also played crazy. all of Minecraft all of the now, dark souls games mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah okay that dark souls thing is fucking insane I watched some of those streams. <laughs> he second tried, like second try killed one of the hardest bosses in that entire franchise, which I would say puts it at the hardest bosses of anything. Of ever? He just, okay. Like, he just breezes through shit. Like yeah. okay. he well, first, just, first or second tried all of Bloodborne, I think. Everything. Yeah, that's uh, right. It was yeah. Bloodborne. It was, uh, I think, Ludwig, the horse boss. It was like... You know, it, first it reminds it's, me it, of uh, like when when Out, um, Outriders came out, and I went online to just you know just to see, and I met people that already like level forty. I'm like, wait a minute, the game just came out. Like how, you know, in, in a couple hours. Wow, people are yeah, yeah. You and, know, and just just to be fair, I did I did second try Ishin the Sword Saint, so you know, that oh, okay. I, you know, <laughs> it's not impossible. It's not possible. Yeah, I guess. Look me in the eyes and see. <laughs> I second tried Ishin the Sword Saint. Okay. All right. <laughs> second try. Go. Okay. I used every single goddamn <laughs> item in my inventory, but I did it. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I was so. playing Dark Souls on PS5. Yeah. No, Demon Souls. When Demon mm-hmm. Souls came out, I played through it. I beat it. I did the mm-hmm. whole thing. Super proud of myself. Bragged to a bunch of people like I fucking beat this game. Like I beat uh, it. I did it all. Yeah. And then I tried to play Sekiro after, and I couldn't. Couldn't do it. You it was do it. way too hard. I was like, well, fuck, oh, fuck all of this. Really <laughs> that game is hard yeah. as hell. <laughs> There's a breaking point. Yeah. It, the game is really good, though, about telling you, like, they're there. There are other games. Like, like it, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't there string you along games. in a lot of ways where it's like, like it, you'll just get to a point and then Sekiro will be like, mm, it's OK. Don't worry. Like, you don't have to beat this. Other people have. <laughs> and then you'll go, thank you, Sekiro. And then you bow humbly and you yeah, set yes. down your sword and then you you tiny foot step away. Um, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> uh, for me, I have been playing Immortal Phoenix Rising. Um, I've been playing it on Switch. I'm really digging it. Really, really digging it. Um, I mean, anyone that asks me about it, I go, well, you know, it's almost as if Breath of the Wild came out, and then a Ubisoft executive started screaming, "Why don't we have one?" And so a dev team made it because it like it looks it is Breath of the Wild, but it's set in like a Greek island, and it has like the same kind of progression. You could go anywhere, do anything, but you should probably check out these other things first, and like, yeah. and then the collectibles and stuff. But I'm playing it on Switch. If I was playing it on like a console, I probably I don't know that I'd be. But I, you know, the fact that I can play it on the toilet is is just great. And there's you just boom, open the map, throw down a cursor, go there, accomplish that five minutes, and you're good. But at this point, I'm like thirty hours into the game, and I'm I'm just really really enjoying it. But as soon as that's done, I want to go back into Monster Hunter. Uh, I have I still have it on my Switch, and I still want to explore it because what you like, were you saying, Omar? It did feel like uh, I could handle this one, like. Yeah. Like there's a it's pathway super approachable. forward. Yeah. And like, if you do get into playing it, like it is the most fun to play with other people. I feel like that's the way that game is intended to be played. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to do it by yourself, but mm-hmm. if you are doing it by yourself, it's yeah. a pretty good second screen kind of game. Like you're saying, like being on the switch, mm-hmm. except for like, I do it the opposite way now where like I have the switch on the TV and I have something else playing. Like I have my oh, iPad really? next to me or whatever playing TV just cause like, I want to, I don't know, it's too, the Switch screen is too little for my old eyes okay. or something. I don't know That's what right. it is, but, <laughs> but yeah, like I, mm-hmm. I end up flipping that, that second screen experience script a little bit by doing, doing it the opposite way. But it is a good, like, mm-hmm. as you're experiencing something else, also mm-hmm. be playing this game. Yeah. Um, is it, is it easy to find other players online? Cause I remember when, oh, yeah. Mus- when Monster Hunter sh- World sh- came out, there was an issue just to find online matches, like just to meet other mm-hmm. players. So, yeah, so the part of the improvements of the approachability of this game is they've mm-hmm. completely fixed the way like so in world 
you had to have at least accomplished the same amount of stuff as the people that you're trying to play with, right? Like mm -hmm. somebody new couldn't jump into you and just play whatever. Um, this game is a little bit like it still has that stuff, but it doesn't roadblock people coming back and playing with you as much. Mm -hmm. um, before, like you had to like everyone had to have at least seen the cutscene that plays before you experience a monster to be able to join each other or like it would prevent you from partying up and doing all that stuff. This game doesn't have that. Okay. Um, as long as you're like, you know, like as long as someone can access the, the, the mode that you're trying to play, the missions that you're trying to go on, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier. Cool. And there are shitloads of people playing. Like even if you don't have friends, just like responding to the <laughs> SOSs or whatever, you can, uh, you there's always people playing. Mm hmm. Never had a problem okay. finding people to fight a monster with. Yeah. Probably well, gonna bite. Gonna yeah. bite. Yeah, I think hey, let me know. We'll yeah. run code. We go we yeah. go hunt. And especially if you're starting from the beginning, because that's where yeah. I am. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play at the beach together right there. Yeah, yeah. It's a sad it'll be the saddest <laughs> add, social outing add ever. Your, your switches together. <laughs> yeah. Um right. well that's what we're playing now. And now, as promised, I want to talk about what we're gonna be playing this summer after a word from some of our sponsors. This episode is brought to you by Keeps. Did you know that by age 35, two out of three guys start showing signs of male pattern baldness? That's the majority of guys everywhere. Um, no guy is ever ready to go bald, but now there's Keeps. Keeps is a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair because the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it now while you still have your hair. Um, Keeps offers convenient online doctor consultations and delivers your medication straight to your door every three months so you don't have to keep track of when to reorder or run to the pharmacy. Keeps is there just when you need it, right on time, all in low profile packaging, so no one knows what you're getting from that secret box in front of your door. Uh, find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Keeps offers generics and treatment starts at just $10 a month, plus for a limited time, you can get your first month free. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash dude soup to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Slash dude soup. Thank you to Mint Mobile for sponsoring this episode. Big wireless providers have taught us to always be looking for the catch, whether it's high fees or fine print contracts. So when we first heard about Mint Mobile's premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, we thought, sure, but what's the catch? Um, since then, I've realized that there actually isn't one. Um, what's Mint Mobile's secret sauce? Well, they sell wireless service online only, cutting out all that retailer store cost and overhead costs, so there's no mystery fees. They're just passing those savings along to you. Um, John Smith, friend of the channel, friend of me, uh, switched to Mint Mobile and has been loving it, like genuinely, genuinely enjoying it. And he was, uh, he really preferred his cell phone carrier. I don't, I think he just made the switch because he wanted to try something new and I'm not sure he's ever going to go back. He really, really enjoys it. And, uh, and I'm happy for him. Um, uh, mint mobile plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data on the nation's largest 5g network. You can keep your phone, which John did, um, your phone number, which John did. And you can get that with any mint mobile plan. If you're not totally satisfied, uh, they even have a seven day money back guarantee. Can't speak to that because he kept it. Um, Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service just at $15 a month. Um, get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month plus free shipping. Go to mintmobile.com slash dude. That's mintmobile.com slash dude. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash dude. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you've ever wanted a website for a new business or your passion project, Squarespace is the perfect tool for you. It offers an all-in-one platform that lets you build a beautiful online presence. Squarespace makes it super easy to create community with blog commenting features that let you thread comments and replies and even supports likes. Um, they also offer member-only areas so you can generate uh, revenue using specific content for specific members. Uh, it lets you manage that, those members and send emails and even get audience insights all on the same platform. 
It also helps you optimize your website so it appears perfectly on every single platform, uh, whether it's laptop, a phone, or a tablet. You can look at it all in once. Um, I actually do use Squarespace and I love it. Uh, I remember trying to make a website way back in the day and it was a miserable experience, but Squarespace is making and designing a website the way I always want it to be. Clicking things, dragging stuff around, it, it feels intuitive and you can also pull a ton of inspiration from much better designers than I actually am um, to make the perfect website for yourself. So if you need a website, and I feel like most people do in this day and age, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, just use the link squarespace.com slash dude soup to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash dude soup. All right, we're back. We're at the beach. Fast forward a month, maybe two months down the road. What are we playing now? Let's let's jump back to you, Danny. What are we playing now? All right. As in the future. As in the future, today. of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it, I got it. So one game that I'm playing now, mm -hmm. and I also played it a couple of weeks ago, was uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, because I'm a huge PSO fan since the Sega Dreamcast days. Mm -hmm. So a couple of weeks ago, Sega contacted me. They wanted me to be part of the beta that just released in Japan. Mm -hmm. It was a very uh, close beta, small group of us. I got to play here from the States. And I was also allowed to stream it. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I was playing it all weekend for hours. It was a lot of fun. And uh, the thing that I want people to understand, this is not like the previous PSO2 game that came out for, for Xbox and PC here in the States. Because mm -hmm. when you play that game, it feels very dated. Very, very mm -hmm. dated. This one, in my opinion, should be called Fantasy Star Online 3. But the reason why Sega is not doing that is because they have a lot of subscribers, a lot of people that sign up to be part of this game in Japan. And uh, and they still want to continue making that money. So you could mm -hmm. transfer from your old account and play it with a new game, mm -hmm. to the new game too now. So, um, so for those that don't know, you could play up to like 32 players online. Uh, there's a different quest. There's also going to be kind of like raids, similar to like Destiny, where mm -hmm. you need a lot of people in that area to beat this mm -hmm. boss. So it might be between like 16 players all the way to like 32 players, to, mm -hmm. all of us playing together. Uh, like world and, event style or like yeah, what, like world events. Yeah, like world events, raids, oh. that type of thing. Yeah, cool. yeah. So, mm. so uh, the game, the closed beta for PC here in the States also is coming out globally is I think it's going to start, I think starting today, you could go to window, the Windows Store or the Xbox mm -hmm. uh, link um, insiders where you could sign up and you could join and, and start playing it. So the game is going to be free. It's going to be cross play Xbox and, and, and PC. And it's coming out technically it's, some, it's coming out during spring, but mm -hmm. it's like similar to Ratchet and Clank. That game is coming out at the end of spring, which is also mm -hmm. summer. So yeah, I think yeah, it's like around there. Enough. Yeah. yeah, close yeah, enough, close it. enough. Yeah. But if you're a huge fan of like online RPGs like like this, it, this is it feels like an MMO RPG now, finally. Because yeah. the other games, it felt like very closed. It's not like that at all with this one. And I highly recommend people to try it out. Plus it's free. You're not you're not losing anything. You're not wasting money, you know? So yeah. try it out. Is try it, it out. subscription though or no? No, it's not. It's not. You can sign up for like a monthly for like perks and cosmetics and like certain things in the game you could do that if you I, want i because like it's mostly aesthetic stuff right i played maybe two hours of fantasy star online too um okay uh john mm -hmm. smith and i were like you want to do it let's do it and then like i jumped in and then i think i think he downloaded it but we never actually played mm -hmm. together and so then it we didn't hold our attention um but like the aesthetic of it is like super cool like it's Maybe my favorite like space RPG aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It's very anime and like the cool cyber suits. I spent way too long like designing my characters like cyber suit, but then I remember like the stuff that it charged you for was like you'd like pick a server, but then if you want to yes. change your server later on, then you have to like pay to pay. change that. So one, they're like make sure all of your friends pick the same server. Um, yeah. But I have to mention but, yeah. this though, James. I, I think this this game. Is gonna be the one that you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna be hooked. Like I, I love mm -hmm. it. Like even when you're in the, there's no loading time, by the way. 
Like as mm-hmm. soon you go to to like the main area where everybody's there, once you start going out to like the world, the open world, mm-hmm. it is huge. I'm talking about like Breath of the Wild type level huge. Mm-hmm. So you could even see it from far away. Like you go to the highest mountain and you can see the areas where mm-hmm. you could go. So mm-hmm. with this one also, when there when there's like live events, there's uh, the the music changes. It gets really dark. There's gonna be like a a, a Nikon, like a, a weird sound where you go to the map and they'll tell you where to go, and you see everybody running towards that area where everybody's gonna like defeat this like main big boss, you mm-hmm. know, for a boss battle in there. So it's a lot. It's a lot of fun, man. Look, you can start swimming in there in this one too. You couldn't do that previously in the other game, you know. Mm-hmm. So they this and the game feels fast as hell too, man. Mm-hmm. Really, really fast. So yeah, you, it, I think you're gonna like it. You're gonna love this way more than 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 the previous one. What's up? Okay. Is it is it like a the combat style or whatever? Is it like War, World of Warcraft or something? Like you have abilities on timers and stuff, and it's all kind of real time, or is it just hack and slashy? Uh, it's like a hack and slash, hack and slash. Yeah. Like for me, uh, uh, I I had a ranger, hunter. Like I tried like different classes, and it feels it feels like that, like hack and slash. Type vibe. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a Monster Hunter, something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. It, I correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like like I played as a character that had like guns, but you weren't supposed you didn't just keep slashing. It was like if you did it rhythmically, like if you pressed yeah. it like to the right beat, then you would get like crit chance and stuff like that, and then it would be it would be stronger power. So it was a, a ranger. You had a ranger then. I guess so. I yeah, don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. But, uh, I don't recall. Cool. But let me tell you, there was so many things to do in the in the beta, and the, all, everything, everything was in Japanese. So it was like really hard for me. Like, oh wow, to, that's yeah. how that so, game was, right? That's how yeah. two was forever. Like, yeah, you so can you only know, play it in Japanese. Yeah. So what I was God. doing, I had my mobile device, right, my smartphone, uh-huh. and I had uh, the Google Translator app on. Oh so wow. I, I, so I'll, I'll focus it like to the yeah. to the screen, and it will translate in real time. I'm like, okay, I need to go here. Okay. Oh, that's so crazy! I, I was Holy doing, shit. yeah. It was. I haven't done that since the back. Wait, back in the days um, mm-hmm. when I used to play the uh, PSO because uh, for the the Dreamcast, I also imported that mm-hmm. when it came out in Japan. So you're a big old nerd. You know that you know you're a big nerd. <laughs> oh yes, I a huge nerd, <laughs> James. <Big> nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but try it out. Try it out once it comes out. It's, it's totally free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take cool, it. cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else want to hop in with another game? I know everyone. Ha- everyone has more than one, so we can we we can yeah. cycle around too mm-hmm. if we got time. I for got it. I got one that I was excited for, but now I'm not as excited for. Oh, oh, yeah. A little uh, controversial. Uh, that the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Okay. The original Ninja Gaiden mm. is one of my favorite games. Well, you ever. by original Ninja Gaiden, you mean yeah. the How remake so, of the original Ninja yeah, Gaiden. Yeah, okay, you're right, sorry. So, <laughs> and, and actually, to qualify it further, it's the second release black. of Yeah, you're right? talking about Black. black. Yeah. <laughs> the Ninja original black. Ninja Gaiden Black, which was a remake of a remake, uh, yes. of a which was a sequel to three mm-hmm. other games. Yeah. I was going to say original for <laughs> Xbox, but I was rudely interrupted. Before Sorry, I, I apologize. There. But what I, I was going to say was going to make perfect sense once I got through it. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> so I was super excited about this because mm-hmm. I love that game. Um, you can play it's on Game Pass, so mm-hmm. it's play it. Like, it was, was on Game, was oh, on game Pass. Now? Yeah, they took it off because uh, okay. of this. Yeah, they want people to buy this game. That makes sense, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But yeah. these aren't, this isn't Ninja Gaiden Black. It's Sigma, which is the one that came out for PS3. Mm-hmm. So it's like kind of, censored and there's there's additional content too but it's also mm-hmm. it's censored i've heard it's a lot easier which kind of defeats <laughs> the purpose of these for games. the guy who beat ishins the sword saint in second try you'll have no <laughs> yeah, no thank you either way yeah. <laughs> but i was really excited because i only ever played black i never played the second one i heard the third one's pretty bad but man uh, talk so i was kind of excited about like having this especially because i I think it's coming to PC, which is cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah. now, uh, I don't know. I'll probably. No, you're not buy. sure. I'll probably because it, is it because it's not the version that you want? Let's include it in the collection. It's yeah, not it's hardcore like, enough for him, James. Yeah, I guess so. No, but like I've heard that that one is. I've just heard that Black is the best possible mm-hmm. version yeah. of the game, and they said they lost the source mm-hmm. code to it. 
That how? Like. How? <laughs> right, exactly. That makes no yeah. sense, man. I feel like that yeah. probably didn't. I, I, I think they I, probably have the same. Sometimes I think lost is like, they mean lost it as in legal ownership or something. That like, could be too, we yeah. lost it, but we yeah. know where it is. It's just in, in this person's hard yeah. drive and they own it legally and we can't and use we it. And we don't, they're annoying. And we're not going to, we're not going to Taylor Swift this thing yes. and recreate it, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, well, that, I mean, I, speaking of games that really let you know right from the start whether or not this game is for you, Ninja Gaiden is, I remember that I wasn't even playing it and I was just a friend of mine, it's like in a dorm, was like, oh, I got Ninja Gaiden. I was like, oh, I'll watch. And I sat down and he just got to the dude at the beginning of the first level with the yeah, nunchucks. The nunchuck, the, yeah, yeah. And, your and he he must have fought him for the next three hours. And I was like, this <laughs> is a, I was like, how far it's into tough. the game are you? He's like, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a after you finish that boss things it gets a little bit a little bit easier but yo mm -hmm. that first boss it took me hours to complete yep. to beat him man. yeah and, and then, then it's smooth sailing and it's like, yeah and then you get to alma yeah yeah why yeah. god why yeah. why do we do it to ourselves it's fun okay so so we have this is what we were excited for thus thus far is a sequel labeled as an expansion to a game that has existed forever mm -hmm. and a remaster of an inferior <laughs> yeah. version of a game Look, that you've already played. It's this, you <laughs> specified <laughs> summer releases. If we're talking yeah, yeah. future releases, I okay. got plenty. Well, I mean, I'm looking I at like stuff two. here. Like I mean, I, I'm looking at uh, Mario. We got Mario Golf Mario. Super Rush, June 25th. No one else is excited about golf. That's a yeah. good one. I'm That'll excited. That'll be fun. Yeah, Omar, wh fun. what do you have that's an actual game that's coming out? <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk about two real quick. Because the first one is Returnal that's coming mm -hmm. out, like, Ooh, yeah. I think in, like, a week or something for PS5. Mm -hmm. That game has looked cool as shit as from all the trailers and stuff, and yeah. I'm really excited to play it. I, I'm scared that I'm going to bounce off of it pretty quick. But mm -hmm. I think, like, Housemark has awesome-looking things, and they have, like, a they have a legacy of, of making cool stuff. So I, I'm... I'm hopeful that I really dig that game. I worry that rogue lights. Well, because it's rogue light or whatever, you know, like uh, sure. having to die and replete and do all that stuff. Like that stuff gets tired. Like even yeah. even Hades, which is one of the greatest games I've ever played. I think I get to a point where like okay, I I've skill wise I've gotten to a certain point and I'm mm -hmm. not really progressing at the same rate I was before. So I play mm -hmm. it less and less. It gets it gets a little tired. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling this game is going to be that too. It looks like very bullet hell also on top of being rogue light or like, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I wonder, but there's a game mm -hmm. called bio mutant. Have you seen bio mutant? It's been, it's been in development forever, but it's like an action adventure game. It's your oh, little, game, yeah. yeah, it's been around, like it's been barely a thing for a long time, but it, I think it's finally coming out later this year. And I'm kind of excited to play it. I like not only is it going to be fun just to play another action game like that, like a like an action platformy kind of style game, but mm -hmm. like it has a really cool aesthetic, and it seems like it has a lot of really cool mechanics built into it. I'm excited to see if if it delivers. It's a bummer that mm -hmm. it's only coming out on PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, what the and fuck? PC? I mean, they've been making it for the last like ten years or something. Yeah, it's so like it is a it's a last. Yeah, it's a last gen game that's finally coming out. But oh, hopefully, so you know, weird. hopefully they can do something to make it next gen y. But you know, I'll play it on mm -hmm. PC or whatever. It should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Um it's really I'm cool. Sure it, it seems like it's gonna be really cool. Yeah. I hope sure. at least. It looks you interesting. Know, who knows? Yeah, but with what? things that have gotten delayed like that forever, just constant delays and then going dark and then maybe coming back, like that's never a good sign for a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it might be cool. And yeah, like we what, haven't heard anything old IP from. Is uh, that based on? What's that? And what old IP is that based on? What is this a remake of? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's not How a remake, it doesn't count. How um, dare you? <laughs> what's that? What's that game that was? Uh, is it the the one the not Perfect Dark? I don't know why Perfect Dark is stuck in my head, but like, uh, you the girl would take the pictures and do all that stuff. That was oh. a. Uh, I was gonna say Pokemon Snap. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, Pokemon Snap. I know. You know like it's an old. About. It's an old game yeah. that had a sequel that got talked oh. about like five yeah. years ago at this point and just oh, went, the, disappeared from the world. 
The one with the, the uh, she's like with the pigs. Fear? No, yeah, fear the space is, one. Oh, you talking about um? It's a Ubisoft oh, oh. game. Um, yeah. Oh Beyond, uh, good, beyond, and evil. beyond yeah. good and beyond evil. Beyond good and evil. Yeah. What the fuck happened to that game? <laughs> like, I, it's been Cody, silent, right? Cody said it's Fatal Frame. Out. Cody Cody said Fatal Frame. RTD Cody said Fatal Frame. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Of, fatal that's frame. a good one. Yeah. Fatal Frame is that's that's another. That's a good. I said photos. Good I said guess. pictures. That's yeah, yeah. definitely Fatal Frame. But yeah. Beyond Good and mm-hmm. Evil had there was a whole picture mechanic in that game. Am I making that up? No, that I never played it. Yeah, I don't never play that. They show the the trailer like a gameplay footage years ago at E3 and after that it's just yeah. been mm-hmm. quiet. Yeah. 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 That was like what, 2016 that they showed that maybe? Yeah. When they Something. flew like up like, and they like flew around mm-hmm. and they like went into that aircraft carrier or whatever. Yeah. 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 The problem yeah. is I think they make these things for E3 and then they go, hmm, now we need to make a game that actually does this. Yeah. Like <laughs> what is the game? And then that takes a really like a really long time. Um, yeah. It's like uh it reminds me of uh this game, Skull and Bones. So mm. I, I got oh, to yeah. play it at E3. They gave me a shirt. Mm-hmm. I still yeah. have the shirt. The game hasn't yeah. been out. They they say they're going to start from scratch because they, they say that it wasn't working the way how they were developing uh-huh. the game. And that's yeah. not coming out. Who knows when? So Yeah. That, that was the pirate game, right? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this is um, from Ubisoft Singapore that's worked on that. Uh-huh. They, they, mm-hmm. uh, they worked on... Uh, Assassin's Creed, the mm-hmm. which one is the one the with the boats? Three, um, oh, three and four. Three and four, yeah. Stuff. Mm-hmm. yeah. Black flag, black flag, black, flag, black yeah. flag. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, I completely forgot about that game. Um. What was it? The one where you do medieval fighting was like that for me for a long time. What is? It's still popular. I think still people oh, still play chivalry. Chival? No, no, oh. neither of those. The Ubisoft game. <laughs> That's like hard oh, for, 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 like, honor. Oh, for, for honor. honor, for honor, for honor, for yeah. honor. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> for honor, um, it was like that for me because I played that at an E3 demo, like a behind curtain E3 demo. And then just like I was like years went by and I was like, where is this game that like I played? Whatever happened to it? And then it came out and then I didn't really play it much more than that. You but, remember so. that dude, how popular the dude was? The old man with the cane, with the cane? on stage yeah. at E3 for For Honor. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. so, he was like, everyone assumed he was like it was burly a sword. and bearded. And <laughs> yeah. He had a deep voice too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah didn't he say like fuck a lot game. or something on stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they keep releasing uh, more and more soldiers and warriors for that. So I think For Honor is, I assume, doing pretty good. There yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, there nice. he is. Our yeah, Rob McElhaney. Him. We interviewed on our Dude, on our podcast. Really, really cool guy, man. Really cool guy. Yeah, it's awesome. I feel yeah. like I'm approaching um, that look. I got I got enough gray almost in my hair. Oh, all you is need is the cane. away right now, but you can't hear. <laughs> yeah, you need the cane. In my yeah, cane? No, a... I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has it elsewhere. Here, you, um, you know what? You know what game uh, that I hope it comes <laughs> out this summer? I, I don't know <laughs> if it's not, but have you heard of the game Tunic? No. Yeah, Tunic? Familiar, but... So this game is an indie game. So um, mm-hmm. most likely it's coming out for Game Pass too, but... A couple of years ago, I saw it at uh, at E3. This reminded me of Link to the Past, like that type of vibe. Oh, could, yeah. It's like a little fox. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Funny. it's yeah, so yeah, yeah. cool. This, it's it so looks cool. like it looks like the cartoon, the Saturday morning cartoon version of Bio Mutant. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yeah, Omar was just talking about it's like a little furry thing yeah. with a sword. Oh, this looks <laughs> yeah. super cool. No, this I mean, game has Link so to the much past potential. 100%. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah seriously, yeah. dude is but a if you see the, for sure. You see the footage, you'd be like in shock. Like, wow, this this game looks cool. Even the music is so good. Uh, so so don't good. Don't tell Elise. Don't tell Elise. Oh my god! <laughs> now nah, you will love it. You love it mm-hmm. for sure. Um, well, uh, forget everything I criticized Patrick for because my my picks are Final Fantasy VII remake in Bang oh. or <laughs> Intergrade. Um, Bang? Yeah, oh, okay. in Tarobang. Um, but uh, Intergrade, which I'm really excited for. I think. I mean, obviously, last summer was terrible for a lot of reasons. But I did not get out of the house very much, and that's the only reason I was able to f- complete the Final Fantasy VII remake and put fifty hours or whatever into it. And I genuinely, like, I genuinely loved it. Like, I really, it was kind of exactly what I wanted. Um, and so, the prospect of getting more of it, I, I hope that they do more episodes and stuff. And I feel like this is kind of a test in that direction because I don't want to have to wait around for another twelve years for them to be like, all right. 
we're going to Cosmo Canyon. And then <laughs> like, and then another 12 years for that. Um, so I do, I'm excited to see this. I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of like how I'm going to play it. Like if I get the PS5 version or if I'm just going to upgrade the one I already own. Um, but I am, I am very excited for it. I'm excited for Yuffie to, to show back they have, up. They have to have a way to like transfer your save over or something, right? Like, Mm. They did that shit forever ago with uh, with Mass Effect I mean, and everything. Like they, well, they probably they probably will. They did it with Spider Man and everything too. Yeah. Um, but it's, I, it's I a little just, bit complicated. You have to either, you can do it. You have to either buy. It's a free upgrade for if you already own the game. If I if I'm correct, it's a free a free upgrade for if you already have it on PS4. But if you want the PS5 version, you have to buy it again. I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. No, uh, that's that the seems question. silly. That seems like they're that, that was a mistake on their part. Like, and I'm pretty if sure you bought Frog, that shit. Yeah. You should get it for the new console. I guess, but here we have Patrick trying to buy, you know, Ninja Gaiden. How far back <laughs> do we go? You know, <laughs> well, I couldn't play it on an Xbox mm-hmm. anymore. I don't own an Xbox anymore. I have an um, Xbox One or whatever, but uh huh. I'm, fuck you! Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I also think I, I'm also excited for a Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to be really for that cool. Technic, like on a technical level. Yeah. Again, the only thing I've played, the only thing I've played on my PS5 is Demon Souls. So like, same Demon. Oh no, Soul. Miles Morales. Um, I I haven't even I haven't even gotten to start Miles Morales. Like oh, I didn't. It's a good know, game, man. I know, so I know it is. It's I have so no daunting, doubts, though. but I just there's so much I haven't shit been there. able to do it. Yeah. And and the only time I can really get those games done is when it's on the Switch, because again, I could play it on the toilet. But I yeah. really want to do this. I've never played a full Ratchet and Clank game all the way through. I've like played them a little bit, but I never finished mm-hmm. one. But this one looks really cool, and I feel like it's going to be very beautiful and fun to play, like a light-hearted fun game that's like going to be perfect for like summer you know summer night or whatever like kind of what omar is describing where you have like maybe a movie on but you're also kind of playing this it seems like a lot of fun and then what what are the games right now that are that like what is the action adventure game that's that's good right now because i feel like that's the deficit that i have the ratchet in my like wanting to play games (laughs) the ratchet and clank collection currently available Um, yeah i think the ratchet and clank and then hopefully hopefully this this summer too psychonox too like that, those type of games that I like that I want to play. Look, look at that, James got excited. By the way, James, I was gonna ask you, man. Yeah. You mentioned a lot that you love love to play in the bathroom with the Switch. Do you, are you Go like on. sick yep. or anything? Like, are you always sick? <laughs> <laughs> you end up in the toilet. Just, <laughs> how much time are you in the bathroom? I, I actually exactly. spend a surprisingly short amount of time on the toilet. I'm pretty good about getting in and getting out. I'm just yeah. saying the ability to do just to find time anywhere <laughs> okay. that you can to like pick up. Get to get something accomplished in a game and then move on with your life is something that I can only really do with the Switch. I, I do use uh, the X Cloud sometimes, but even like the process of it's still not perfect for me because if I like if I can't stop playing with the Switch, then I just boom, I just hit the button and then it s- saves everything. And then the next time I pick it up, it'll be right there. But with X Cloud, it's like because I've been playing a little bit of Yakuza on and off. Um, but nice. when I do like a game like that god forbid the phone goes idle or something or like i set it down and i'm gonna make myself a sandwich i come back it goes idle and then i boot it back up and then it's lost my place or it's like you've been disconnected oh, and you didn't yeah. save so i need i need a version of it where it just literally saves my spot everywhere i am um we as a society also, can move past everyone needs there. a safe space man everyone needs an escape room or whatever like if the, if you need to go on the toilet a to play some room. games to get away hey. from it all like it's totally to cry fun. <laughs> yeah cry myself to sleep maybe maybe it will motivate you to to play even better <laughs> while you're maybe, sitting down yeah. the toilet <laughs> come <laughs> on <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah no no online games because then uh the, the blood pressure will get too hot yeah. um we we're already <laughs> getting close to the end of this podcast um, but I, are there any other, any other standout things? A couple things that I'm seeing here, no more Death heroes loop. three sounds cool. Death loop is also on this list. That's September. Um, that counts. That counts. That We're counts. counting. It September. was supposed Resident to come out this yeah. next month. It, Resident that's, Evil. That's all that matters. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Yeah. Hey, look, that's I right even played the, the demo on purpose cause I just want to play it not knowing anything. I want to be surprised. Okay. Yeah. So I, 
I also didn't play the demo, but it's because I forgot. Yeah. I was like, oh, let's do it. And then it was I like, it's gone. Second, and I was like, second. where was that? Yeah. Wait, it was only up for a couple of days, right? It's like hours. Yeah. I felt like it was only up for a couple hours. But. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks good. I'm excited. I demo, and then the second one I missed, the window. I haven't I'm, tried I'm none so of them. I'm excited for that. I, yeah. I just got into I the, like, I, I never played them as a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, until, so the first one I played was the, the remake of two, and then I got oh, like, wow. super into it. Yeah, don't, never, go like, don't go no, back. Don't go back and play. <laughs> now that you've done these well, Resident Evil, I yeah. tried. When I was younger, I tried to play the uh, just like the PlayStation ones. But even mm-hmm. even at like that time, it was already pretty rough. Yeah, going back and trying to play it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no, I love them. Well, that was I like love- one of the first first games that I remember like really trying to do the two joystick thing, like using the DualShock controller or whatever they called it before the the rumble was in there like those like tank controls or whatever yeah, like moving remember. around and like doing that shit like it was annoying <laughs> as stuff but like it was ahead of its time a little bit for for at least yeah, for me mm-hmm. it felt it felt way different mm-hmm. than i have a lot played of other stuff. four which is like better i mean it's a great game but like the controls are it's, still it's like do i really it's still like why I have, have to, you just decided on why this? do i have yeah. to come to a complete stop to like mm-hmm yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. one is Nemesis? Is that three? That's three. three. Yeah. Uh huh. And Cole That's Veronica. Cole Veronica, I love too. I love that. That intro was mm-hmm. phenomenal. That one came out for the Dreamcast. I remember that was an exclusive for, for the console. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. But I think yeah. five was the. I hated five. Five, it turned into like Gears of War, action pack. It was weird. It's pretty universally hated. So, right? yeah. So, well, yeah. Yeah. I had a good. Ex- I played seven. online with yeah. a friend of mine, and we never got to play. Get to play games. Together. That was like the one game we got to play together. And there were some really fun moments because that that was like the first time you could like play a co op game like that, and you could cue stuff that are ha- is happening in another place. So like there would be points where he'd be like, "I'll go first and check it out," and then he'd like go around the corner, and then you just hear him. I'd hear him over my Xbox headset go, "Oh shit." Shit. And then he'd come running back in like the very tanky way, and there'd be like so yeah. many zombies behind him. And those were like the game itself, not good, but there were like really wild standout moments that I that was the first time I had that experience in like online gaming. Um, but yeah, you definitely gotta play the last Resident Evil. It was so good and scary, and it was oh, first yeah. person. It's awesome. Seven, really good. Oof, yeah. Seven was great. Yeah, that was uh, so good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. Well, okay. We talked about games. We are almost to the end of this podcast. Danny, this is your third time here. Yes. You should be used to what's coming by now. You should know what's <laughs> happening now. Uh-oh, it's coming. You can't escape it. It's, it's it coming. Never, we, it always happens. Cody, you know what it's time for. Welcome, oh, Omar loves it. Omar's having a great time. Uh, welcome back to Mount Up for Morbius Year Two. We are chugging along. Um, you know, some people say they message me and they go, "You know what? I love the podcast. Could you get to Mount Up for Morbius faster? Is there any way you could do more of the podcast devoted to Mount Up for Morbius?" And I say, "No." Every single every single episode of Mount Up for Morbius is the exact right amount to ensure that you learn about Morbius and everything Morbius has to offer, and you retain that knowledge. Um, and you come back. I have, some, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, for you, especially Danny. for you, James. Now that things are changing, now you know theaters are opening up. Mm-hmm. Will you rather watch this at home or watch this at the theater when it once it releases? Danny, I may, I may never see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> if it ever comes out, <laughs> ever. Uh, no, Jim, I'm, I'm expecting. Yeah, uh, Patrick, go ahead. Well, I was just going to ask: is the is the short duration that that's because you want to make sure the audience retains it, not because there's no one talking about this movie? I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> it's the it's the you know how Duolingo is like we figured out the science yeah. to learning a language. Yeah, I have figured out the science to learning about Michael Morbius and the upcoming okay. film Morbius starring Jared Leto. Okay, so I figured it out and Thank I pinpointed you. it. And yeah. I and I, again, Danny, to your question, I'm expected to be invited to the premiere. So oh. that's how I expect <laughs> to see. Oh, wow. I expect to be sitting right next to Jared. Yeah, right next to Jared. As the 
foremost reporting uh, person yep. on this movie. Yep. That's yes. probably cheap. I would Absolutely. I would argue that I've given more press to this uh this film than their entire marketing department. So, um and it doesn't this week is no exception. Um, again, we are going to be learning a little bit. We're digging in really deep into the Jared Leto side, because at this point, he's so immersed with the role that where does Jared end and where does Morbius begin? He's such a talented actor that it's seamless. So we're going to be playing a game this week that is very much related to Jared Leto and something we've barely touched on in the last year and a half of Mount Up for Morbius. And that is, okay, right, there it is, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're gonna be talking about Jared's other venture. He's a multifac. he's a multifaceted uh, entertainer. We know of him as an actor um, and some part-time model. He does commercials and, and fashion. He's also in a band called 30 Seconds to Mars, okay? Mm-hmm. Huge band, maybe one of the biggest, it basically goes Beatles, 30 Seconds to Mars, and Wine then- Ellen. Yeah, and so so we that's some of the biggest one of the biggest bands on the planet. But I want to make sure you guys know. Are you guys familiar with Thirty Seconds to Mars? I mean, you must be. I mean, I know who they are. The I don't name. think I could. I don't think I've ever actively listened to it, like knowingly listened to the, one of their songs. They were like I'm on sure the I've radio, heard though, right? Perfect. In the, like two th- early two thousands. Well. We're, yeah, I mean, and forever since. Thank you very much. Well, you're um, right. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing this week is I'm going to be playing some 30 Seconds to Mars songs, and I want you to see if you can guess which one they are. Okay? Wow. Okay. So so you're going to be pulling from your own knowledge here, but again, it's learning. You're not supposed to get it all right. Can um, I get Shazam ready? And look, so I've never even it. heard of them, so this is this yeah. is the first time. This is gonna be an experience for me. So you know go. what, Omar, if you want Shazam, you can pull up Shazam. I don't mind. Um, you don't think right. they're in there? <laughs> <laughs> Cody, are we ready with the the first uh, the first audio clip? All right, let's let's hit it. This is. A- <laughs> All right, what song <laughs> was that? <laughs> Can Wait, I, can you play it again? Hold no, on, can, play it again? can we play time? it again? <laughs> oh, God. Cody, are you going by the numbers that I gave you? <laughs> I don't think you are, but I think it's okay. Is so that him in that photo? File numbers. Yeah, it should have a file <laughs> it should have a file number. Did you go with the file number? <laughs> I think I know what it was, but I don't think it corresponded to the numbers that I have. <laughs> okay, all right. What song... Was that 30 Seconds to Mars? It's called Weakness. I haven't even had time with Shazam or anything like that, so it's going to be hard for I me. I told to you, make. you could use Shazam if you wanted. You could use Shazam <laughs> if you wanted. Help. Is that Each even song multiple features. Choice? Yeah, uh, multiple features. choice. At least I could guess, but this one is going to be so hard for me to guess. It's I called It's choice. called Blood in the uh, Sheets. If you want to, you can pull up a list of their songs and then you can that. use that as the multiple uh, choice. You know what? We'll Cody, that. let's roll that clip one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the music from the the Mount Up for Morbius thing that you have. <laughs> it, kind of it does. It? It's almost <laughs> like I put a lot of thought into the creation of this segment. Um <laughs> I think that Cody, can you confirm with me whether or not the uh, the numbering is right or wrong on that, <laughs> or just okay? All right. All right. Uh, um, all right, I'm gonna battle guess battle of one. That's my guess. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, thank you, Cody. All right, all right. Uh, Omar, you say battle of one. Battle of one. Mm-hmm. Uh, this I'm gonna guess. the sound. The sound is closer to the edge. Maybe I don't know. I'm just totally right now. There it is again. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm there looking at a. I'm looking at a track list from their okay. second album. I'm gonna go with oh, ooh, a beautiful lie. Ooh, a beautiful ooh. lie, which is yeah. also a beautiful song. The correct answer is attack. That's the Fuck. song. It's you know what? And I was looking at that one. There it I is. Was looking, That's I was, it. it was between that or closer mm-hmm. to the edge. God. Yeah. I wish I, I could right. play the play a longer clip, but unfortunately, I cannot. 
because we will get uh, copyright. copyright yeah. so, shout out to the music um, labels. Yep, shout out to the music labels. All right, let's move on. We've got six of these to get through, so we'll maybe take a little bit less time. But you have your track list ready to go. All right, Cody, let's move on to the next one. Uh, I think I figured, I almost heard a word there, I think. I know, I heard something. Yeah, maybe it's a clue. Something uh, carry on, maybe? It's all a trick. Hi, Elise. <laughs> it's bait. It's all bait. No, Elise it's thinks... all fake. Elise thinks it's a trick. It's not a trick. All right. Let's go with This Is War. He sounds really angry. Ooh, This Is War. Great song. Written by 30 Sex to Mars when they were going through uh, some drama with their record label. Mm. And so the wow. war was him fighting for more money. Um, I'm going to guess Santa Through the Back Door. Right, That's okay. a real song name on this list. <laughs> right. Patrick? Uh, I'm going to guess Edge of the Earth. Edge of the Earth, another yeah. beautiful song. Uh, let's let's hear that clip again. Okay, <laughs> says, that, is says actually, that yeah. is actually Helena by My ah. Chemical Romance, mm. a different band. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Never would it, you could have told Wait, me anything. That, that one was supposed to come later in the trivia listing, <laughs> but still. So I w- can't assure you that's the only non thirty seconds to Mars song. All right, let's keep moving. We got we got to keep going. All right, let's play the next clip. Uh, <laughs> same after a certain point. No, that's a different song. I assure you. Okay. Play it again. Play it again. Uh, I, play it again. Yeah. You know what? Is I'm gonna go base. I'm going to go base with the picture mm-hmm. and the vibe. I think it's just Dangerous Night. Ooh, mm. Dangerous Night. Okay. See? He's at nighttime. It's dangerous look, look, out there. Look, yeah, it's nighttime. nighttime. <laughs> Ferris wheel in the background. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, oh, where'd it go? Welcome to the universe. Ooh, welcome to the universe. Yeah. Okay. Omar, before you, before you make a guess, I'm going to just do something that might help you out. Um, Because obviously they have evolved as a band over time. So maybe, Cody, if we play the first one and then play the 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 one that we just played, played number the first one we listened to and then the third one side by side, then we can hear how they evolved as a band. (laughs) And that might help Omar pinpoint the time period. So can we do the. Can we do that? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Making this hard. Load it up. Sorry. Okay, so that was the first one. Yeah. And now let's play the... Oh, that was <laughs> both at the same time. All right, I didn't know. <laughs> it seemed like it was both, All right, so but they were You've heard them both notice. at the same time, Omar. So so now what do you think it is? I'm going to say a Occam's Razor. Ooh, Occam's Razor. The correct answer is Kings and Queens. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice try. There what it is. What year was that? Me. What year was Don't this? know. Don't oh, have no, no idea. No. Like eight <laughs> yeah, years yeah, ago or something? I don't know. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's move on. We're, we're already burning through too much time 2009 here. 2009 Kings and Queens. Just Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's... Uh, time flies when 30 Seconds to Mars You're is dropping singles. Seconds. All right. So let's let's go with the next clip. Okay. 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 Hmm. Can you that one is very clearly Vox Populi. Can you play that again? <laughs> You know what? He's, I don't think these it are is, right. Just so you know, just so you guys uh, know, I don't think uh, these are right. I think these files got mixed up. <laughs> Does it matter though? Me, Does it change anything? <laughs> you don't know this, these songs by name, James? <laughs> oh, he's lost. You know he's lost uh, in, yep. the, in the in the in the Mars. All right, I'm, I'm listening go, to them on my end. I'm gonna go. With, no, no, no. These are right. These are right. Yeah. These are right. <laughs> these I'm are gonna right. go with uh, Kings and Queens. Okay, we just heard Kings and Queens. Oh wait, Kings and Queens. But maybe it's Kings and Queens. Wait, wait, hold on. No, hold up. Okay, Uh, though it's very, it's very like James to play the same song, different snippets from the same song over and over again. Uh, So they do have a song called Hurricane 2.0. So it looks like maybe they do they update their songs from time to time. So it could still (laughs) version the remaster. How about the kill? Is that the kill? Okay, all right. I'm going with the most popular track. Um, Patrick, I'm I'm gonna go with end of all days. End of all days. Ooh, okay. Yeah. He's a great. The correct names. answer is I know the kill. 
Oh, oh snap. the kill. I got That's it right. right. Holy shit. I got it right. I don't think you're playing the right ones, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. So I got it right. Yes, at least I have one point. I think that was King. I think Tank. Uh, this whole thing's falling apart. I think these clips are all mixed up. I'm listening to the. I'm listening to the one. The number you sent me here. And it's not matching up. But okay. Anyway, let's keep moving. All right, we got all two right. more. Let's just burn through them. Just play the next one. Okay. All right. That one is correct. <laughs> He sounds very that, one, that one I that one I recognize. We've heard that one before. That one I recognize. It's like hearing "Stairway to Heaven." Boom! I know the song. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with "Birth." Birth. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I am gonna go with "Pyres of Varanasi." Mmm. Not Oops. pretentious at Same all. Same album. I see. <laughs> no. Same album. <laughs> it is, yeah. Love, lust, faith, and dreams, of course, is That's the That's all you need. That's yeah. all you need. Omar? Uh, I feel like, is it wrong to think, like, he looks more contemporary in that photo that played with it? The photos I don't know if it are really literally pre- just pulled from Google. Yeah, they don't okay. Match That's what I figured. But I'm still going to stay with that track. I'm going to go uh, the more, more recent album, America. I'm going to say Great Wide Open. All right. Let's hear it again. That is the kill, folks. Photo. The kill. That's the second. Again? Kill. That's a later part of the kill. I still I knew, you it. Play I knew the that. Other was, I knew James would be doing that. Play two again. Play two. Play. Yeah, that's also the kill. And then the wow, next one see, is the that kill. Was, see? And then yeah. later on the kill. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, it was the same. Yeah. All right. And now we got one more. We got one more. One, one more. more, folks. And then let's do the last one real quick. Let's hear the last. There. Oh. <laughs> okay. There it is. It's got to be so. phase one, colon, fortification. Huh. Got to be. I'll say this. I'll say this. We have heard someone guess it already. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. That doesn't mean da- anything to me. D- danger- <laughs> dangerous night? I'm going to go back to my... You might, might what was the one that I guessed answer. last? Great white, great white open. <laughs> I'm gonna say again. Wait, is it their cover of U2's "Where the Streets Have No Name" from MTV? <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I really want to hear that now. Um, let's hear it. Let's hear it, Cody. That is this is war. Oh, oh snap! That's right. This is war, guys. So, so when it's all said and done. We got one right answer. That was, it was me. The kill. That was Danny. That was Congratulations, me. Congratulations, Danny. Yes. You are the winner of this week's Mount Up for Morbius with one point. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, this it is. That was, a, that was a solid win. Solid win. Hey, this is, this it was Ninja tough Gaiden. for me. Ninja Gaiden. And I tough. made the clips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you, everybody, again for uh, another fantastic episode of Mount Up for Morbius. Um, let's roll that outro. <laughs> thank you so much danny pena for joining us this week for the funhouse podcast where can people find more of you hey they can find follow me on twitter g-o-d-f-r-w godfrey or find us on any podcast app just search for gamer tag radio we we uh, upload two episodes every week it's awesome thank you so much for being on we love having you on um patrick omar thank you guys for joining us this was a super fun discussion um, thank you, as always, to Cody, our TD, who did an amazing job with uh, the whole episode, especially Mount Up for Morbius. Cody, how you feeling? Cody, <laughs> I, th- I thought you're gonna. I thought you're gonna cue. I thought you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he deleted everything. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Cody, for doing an amazing job. Thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. And we will see you next week with another episode of Funhouse Podcast. Bye, everybody. See ya. 